hey guys come on here so i'm kind of whispering because i'm in the airport and it's very echoey because it's kind of empty in here in the interest of passenger safety uh, either way what that has to do today? you guys want to get ready with me while do not get into no me tag this is my outfit then yeah keep on watching I hope you guys enjoy. Also, since you're here, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, side note, it's very awkward filming in public. One, it's very awkward filming in public when it's echoing, <laughs> which is two. But yeah, here's the video. Let's get ready, I guess. Let me put this on. I asked on both my pages last night, personal and business, I asked you guys to ask me some questions. First question, what's my middle name? Well, why would you want to know that? Either way, my middle name is Abigail. How many Abigail how? Um, what's one thing that never sits right in your spirit, no matter how hard you try? Alana, I can't take her, she doesn't sit right in my spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Um, one thing, and I think I hate this mainly because, like, it's something I'm passionate about. But, and I'm not bashing if you're like this. I'm just saying this is one thing I don't like. I'm gonna say like, not sit well with my spirit, no matter how hard I try. But yeah, I hate people who rush things and then do it half-assed. Um, favorite color, purple. My channel colors. Do you miss Steve? Steve, go away. Steve, I have no comments on that one. Sure, Steve, I miss you. I do. I miss your crappy conversations that are funny and your bluntness. That's, that's quite fun. Not like you can't text me. I really reply to messages often though, but you know, that's not, that's no excuse. And you've called me a few times and I didn't answer because I was baking, so maybe, yeah. You know what? Yeah, I'm the problem. <laughs> I'm the problem. Somebody just said single. <laughs> uh, no. On average, how long does it take for you to get ready? Funny you should ask that. Six hours. Shut up. It doesn't take me six hours. So I'm happy you asked like on average because when I'm going out with Ali, sometimes I have like 15 minutes to get dressed. Like now I have an hour or if I'm really going hard, it can take me like up to an hour and a half if that includes like bathing time. Because it takes me like sometimes 20 minutes to shower or more. <sighs> If I'm eating too, that's an added hour because it takes me like 30 to 45 minutes to eat. Well, yeah, um, on average, I would say 30 minutes. Favorite high school subject? That would be food and nutrition because I didn't, I hate school, but I didn't really feel like school because I was really close with all my teachers and I was doing well effortlessly. Like I didn't have to study to get any. Cause I was cooking, so what? Yeah, what motivates me? That would be my family, actually, because most times I'm low on motivation. Like I, I, I'd like to say that I'm self-motivated, but sometimes it runs really low. And like their presence and the fact that they're like very supportive. Um, I can feel Alana looking at me. I don't know why she's looking at me because we're not related. Um, yeah. The fact that they are very supportive, so like whenever I feel like I'm slacking off, then they're always there. Which is almost always. <laughs> Which is almost always maybe. Greatest advice on being successful in con con bleh, I cannot read. Greatest advice on being successful and consistent. Not even sure who asked this, but that's actually a good question. When you find out, you let me know. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Um. I think the greatest thing I can say is 
to be successful you need to be consistent right that's in my opinion at least for you to be consistent however i believe that you need to organize and like plan so like set goals and just know what you want and like if you have a timeline toward like to get into your goals and that's even better because at least you know that oh i have a year left or i have a month left or whatever so this is what i need to be doing right now so just organize and plan 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 like plan until there's literally no other step that you can plan that's my opinion at least what does your name mean i don't know but according to urban dictionary it means i'm a demon girl along with some other good stuff but i, I just remember that part i should probably put on my blouse first because it's turtleneck and yeah, I, I'm back. So I just realized it's a turtleneck. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get it over my face with this on it. So, <laughs> favorite thing about myself, um, it's like a physical thing. My favorite thing would be my smile, even though it's kind of crooked, but I like it. That's my favorite thing, physically. Non-physical, like personality-wise. I hate everything about you. I'm joking. Um, I'm a people person and I really like that because I like people most times. Which parent are you closer to? Why would you want to know that? I'm pretty sure somebody asked me that because I feel like Ali is my parent. <laughs> Funny thing actually. So um, I'm closer to my non-parents than I am to my parents' parents. Does that make sense? I have two non-parents, which would be my sister and my brother-in-law. And then I have my actual birth parents. And no, we don't have any falling out or anything wrong or anything like that. Do you have a catchphrase? I have quite a few. If it's like business catchphrase, I would be like, stay golden or something. Um, if it's a too many catchphrases in something I say way too much then that would be and that's okay <laughs> can you really not ride a bicycle oh my gosh why did I even post that yesterday no I can't ride a bicycle okay how would you want to know that how many boyfriends have I had 5,000 I'm a catch I know but they just catch and release <laughs> I'm joking. Um, most people would say one, but I guess technically it would be two, um, excluding my current, so maybe three. It depends how you're counting it. Alana is looking at me like, what? I didn't know about the second one. And that's a story for another time. Why did I just do that and I didn't? Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? Um, biggest fear. Fear of abandonment would be my biggest fear. Mm -hmm. Um, what motivates you? Didn't I get that question already? Is either two people asked or I'm just really dumb and I copied it twice? Probably the latter, but it's rephrased, it's phrased differently, so maybe two people asked. So yeah. That's that's what motivates me, my family. Said that already. How's your cake? How I guess that should be how are how are your cakes so bad? Sorry to be correcting your grammar. Um, it was more interesting than anything else. Um I don't know. <laughs> Skills I guess. God given talent. I don't know you won't call it. Um thank you though. Um who teach you for bake? No, they don't mean bad as in terrible and you know they it's do. a go away. Because I said they do. Go away. Who teach me for bake? YouTube University. Are you coming back to Jamaica? Never. I'm joking, yeah. Favorite food? Um, I don't really have a favorite food. Curry chicken. What? Curry no, chicken. That's not my favorite. I really like curry though. I think it's a little bit of Indian that daddy gave me. Either way, um, I really like pizza, so I think pizza would be, 
it's hard for me to choose a favorite food. I like breakfast items. Like, weirdly, I don't even eat breakfast. Sandwiches. Per se. Yeah, so I like breakfast items. I like sandwiches a lot. I like, like wraps even more. More? Mm, I don't know. Is it the combination of like a saucy meat plus vegetables and like carbs so either like a tortilla or bread it's just heavenly to me i also really love pasta oh my gosh i don't have a favorite food but those are some of my favorite ones that might be helpful favorite music genre I was waiting on Anna to say anything depressing, <laughs> but she chose Soka. Uh, yeah, I love Soka, and I I guess the other would be pop, because I, I can't really choose one. But like, yeah, or well, like some, not like all pop songs, but I like most Soka, so I guess Soka would be the top one. Um... Do I have a philosophy? Well, the person just said philosophy, favorite quotes. So I guess they're asking if I have a philosophy or a favorite quote. Give up quote. on your dreams and sacrifice to your death. Levi Ackerman. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I have this quote that I've loved since high school, but I don't know who it's by or if it. I think it's. It actually said unknown the last time I checked, which was in high school. <laughs> But it says the the root of a tree is bitter, but the fruits are sweet. So I think like whatever dreams you have, like to get it, it might be hard. That's what I take from it. But like when you do achieve it, it will be you know really nice. Any makeup artists watching this, do not come for me, okay? If I'm not shiny and I don't see a lot of spots or any spots. And then, and I don't look like a clown, which I mean, I do look like a clown, so never mind that one. Then my makeup is done, okay? Favorite way to pass time would be, um, favorite way to pass time? Watching the office. Watching Netflix or. Why do I know more about that? <laughs> I just have to think sometimes. Stupid. That's true. Um, so watching cake videos on youtube or ig and um netflixing that's my favorite it's a pastime can you cook or just bake why people keep on asking me this i can cook tattoo the person just said tattoo um no i don't have any might get one soon if my siblings stop being wusses and let us get a sibling tattoo but that's the only one I would get. Like I said this before, I have commitment issues unless I really want to be committed. And so I wouldn't want to get a tattoo um, because it's a little bit more permanent than like piercings. So the only reason why I would get a sibling tattoo is because I can't really change my siblings one. And it would be meaningful. Like there would be a meaning behind it if it's a siblings thing. That makes sense can you close your eyes and raise your eyebrows what <laughs> um i feel like i did it i don't know did i look look at me no you didn't what I, yeah ish how many piercings i only have these two and this but there are two holes here because i got it repierced um i don't know if you count that as two or one or count that as one but i want to get a double helix here and i mean that's where a helix goes and i want to get an industrial and somewhere i want to get hair pierced because of my frequent headaches that one is actually like a functional piercing not just because it's cute because i really don't want to get it because it's it just looks like it's going to be painful but i would love for me to stop having like three to five headaches per day why am I struggling with shoes? Like, I really hate putting shoes on. Um, I think I'm just going to answer two more and then, like, finish my hair. And, yeah. 
because I feel like this video is a long ass video. Oh, are you really allergic to the cold? Um, yes, I'm allergic to the cold. I'm having an attack. I just take some meds and I'm good. Okay, that would be my time. Um, last question. Pets? No, not currently. Like, if y'all can convince Al to get me a dog, though. <laughs> Huh? Ew. This is why I don't have a pet. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little get to ready with me, getting to know me tag thing. I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah, it was fun. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. My socials will be right here on the screen. That's it for today's video, guys. Um, thank you for stopping by. Next upload will be on Saturday at 2 p.m. So until next time, stay <laughs> golden.